Good day and welcome to our short demonstration and explanation of how to set up a VNC server so that you can connect to a remote machine without having the desktop locked. And what I mean by that is this, if you try to use Windows Remote Desktop, a Microsoft Remote Desktop, what will happen is, uh, yes, the desktop will be thrown from its destination, uh, where, it's, where it's actually at, to your screen. However, the uh, screen that is uh, out in, you know, where people can see it, will be locked. Now in my case, I'm working on some digital signage, so that isn't particularly useful. I need to ensure that the screen that is remote stays unlocked and visible at all times. There are several products that work uh, for this remote desktop solution. However, uh, the one I like is VNC, and in particular, Type VNC is a freeware server uh, that you can use even in your commercial applications. So what we need to do is go get tight VNC. So we just launch the browser and do a Google search for tight VNC, assuming I can type properly. And you'll see there's a download link right there. And we are going to choose 64 bit. Now, this is working in our case on a Terraza uh, Intel compute stick which is a full 64-bit Windows 10 Pro machine. And so we can install this on here without any trouble at all. So let's uh, grab it and just open and install. And it's pretty straightforward. We're gonna do install, next, yes. And we'll do custom because I don't want the uh, VNC viewer. Uh, not that it's a problem to leave it, but uh, I, I don't want it on there. Uh, the smaller, uh, less the attack surface, the better. Okay, yeah, we want to uh, leave those two things uh, selected install and it doesn't take very long to install but you do have to be an administrator so there it goes now here we go um, you should set a password you don't have to but uh, I would highly recommend it um, everybody would highly recommend it so I'm not even gonna bother to go and explain why that is uh, if you need that explained you shouldn't be in IT so <laughs> uh, you need to have a password so I'm just typing in a, a simple password here uh, these machines, in my case, are out on a Wi-Fi network, uh, so that Wi-Fi network is not something that uh, is part of the domain, uh, and uh, so if it got hacked, I wouldn't be all that concerned. Uh, there's not much they could do other than use the CPU for Bitcoin mining or something, or change the screens, but uh, it's incredibly unlikely. It's about as risky as having a guy sitting in your lobby on Wi-Fi. So, let's go. Now, uh, as you can see, there's a VNC icon in the uh, system tray in the bottom right. So I just clicked on that. And you can see we're running on port 5900. There's nothing to change here. Nothing you need to change. Uh, you can tighten up security by removing things, but we're not going to. Okay, so now we need to get the uh, VNC viewer running. To do that, we're going to go to the machine we're going to remote from, and we're going to download type VNC again. Now I know I could just copy paste and move it around, but let's just go through it again and uh, we have particular quirks. So normally I just get the 64-bit version uh, and I would install it. However, the machine I'm on, I do not have permissions to. Uh, so I'm going to get the portable version. So VNC, type VNC portable. And there it is. So we'll just click on download type VNC viewer portable. And down it goes. It doesn't really install, uh, it doesn't require admin rights, it just runs. So let's just open it. And there we go. Pretty straightforward. We'll run it. Okay, now what do we want to connect to? In my case, it's a machine called Lobby 2, so I've just typed in Lobby 2 and clicked connect, and it will take a second and it better show up. There it is. And it's asking for the password that we just entered when we were on that machine we created and there it is. So let's uh, take a look here, sign in. Now you think, well, why is it uh, prompting to sign in? Uh, I thought you just did that. Well, no, we signed in to, VN to, to type VNC. We now have to sign into the Windows uh, PC. Uh, there we go. So now the remote desktop is gone and we're signing in uh, straight to the uh, remote machine. And what you see on the screen here is what is being displayed on the physical screen 
out in our lobby. So at this point, I could run a web page, I could uh, run a PowerPoint, I could do whatever else I want, or as you can see here, I can bring up my lovely UR Tech <laughs> page. All right, that's about it. If you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.